What is going on everyone? Kyle here again and back with another video and once again this is a continuing series that really doesn't have many episodes left. However, talking about figures I have no use for that it's time to part ways with. These do absolutely nothing for me. It's time to get rid of them and it's time to say goodbye. So today's installment I bring you the Titan Trons. Now I would be lying if I ever said I liked the Titan Trons. A little known fact or a little story, here you go. Uh, when the Titan Trons came out, I said, that's it, I am done with collecting. I thought these were absolute garbage. I did not like them at all. I didn't like the uh, funny animatronic uh, foot peg things. It was not for me. I didn't like it. Looking with fresh eyes now, yeah, the head scans were better than the bone crunchers and stuff like that, but... For some reason, Titantrons and R3s, maybe it was because of my age, you know, being 17 or so, but these did nothing for me. It was time to get out of Dodge. I was not a fan at all. And I didn't get back into wrestling figures until Classic Superstars came out uh, a few years after this down the road. So I did have a break. Uh, the only real break in my life from buying wrestling action figures and pretty much for the most part toys in general. And I do blame the Titantrons. They just did not work for me at the time. Um, just something about the arms and the legs. I mean, you can see them. I'm sure you guys have seen Titan Trons in your time. They just, I don't know, something funny with them. Something that just does not strike me in the nostalgic feels at all. Uh, I've never really bought these. All these figures here, I mean, 45, 50 of them, whatever it is, I actually came through just uh, buying lots over the years, and I've just thrown them in a box and stuck them together. There's, you know, Edge. Decent, you know, a coat. Uh, decent, but just not for me at all. Uh, like I said, I bought these uh, in lots and stuff, buying jacks, or you know, somehow I ended up, my father-in-law picked them up at a garage sale and said, oh, you might like these, you like wrestling figures. Um, just stuff like that. So they really have no sentimental value to me. That's why I feel like I can get rid of these and not, you know, bat an eye. Not one tear will be shed. Uh, they, Like I said, they just do nothing for me. Um, I don't know, tell me in the comments if you like Titan Trons, R3s, uh, as I did not. Um, do you think I'll regret this? I, I, I think the answer is no, because I have no attachment to these figures at all. Get rid of these, and you know, my rule in my collection is, if I don't have a spot for these on display, I don't need them in my house. Uh, I don't need them in my collection. Um, I, I feel like if you don't can't display them properly, or you never have plans to display them, what are they doing? They're not doing anything for you. You can't see them every day. You can't enjoy them. If you can't see them, you probably really don't need them at the end of the day. That's kind of the rule that uh, keeps me grounded and keeps me in line. Um, these are just kind of uh, piled up, um, but it's time to get rid of them. Um, just like the Bendums previously uh, or some of the Toy Biz figures, I just didn't have the nostalgic feel to them. However, there's one thing I will keep of the Titantron line. Let's part the sea of Titantron figures here. This is really cool, and I will be keeping this, as I did buy this a few years ago just for uh, just for the heck of it, because I thought it looked so cool, was the Titan Tron stage. <laughs> I do like this one. You know, it came with the Vince McMahon figure, and I do actually like this Vince McMahon figure. But but the real keeper on this one is the, uh, you put his feet on here, and here you go. Maybe. 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 Well, maybe it doesn't work anymore. I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, I had it off. That. Let's see, let me turn it on. Now, Ugh. Entering the Titan Tron. No, yeah. No, yeah. There it is. Plays the theme. Hence the uh, foot. So I turned that off. Took a while. I don't know what was happening there. The magnet not hitting or whatever. Uh, cool that it plays the songs. I would have just had a pre-built you know, button you could push on this thing, and then it would play automatically. But, you know, you just put the figures on there, and they start going. Here's another one, Jeff Hardy. <laughs> so there you go. Jeff Hardy playing the Road Dog New Age Outlaws theme. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, there it is. So I don't know. I just think that is kind of a cool set as far as uh, 
just a, a display piece so you could display you know jacks on or something else i'll probably use it for that but uh the rest of the stuff uh not for me i will keep the vents just because it went with that but the rest you gotta go i mean some okay stuff you know x pac one thing I hated about these, I hate the arms, how like kind of wide out they are and long and straight, and then the legs. They're always they're always at a kind of fishtail. It just always looks strange to me. I don't know. I know there's some people out there, I think, that were of the age that absolutely love these, uh, but not going to happen for me. So this is goodbye, Titan Trons. It was nice knowing you. It was nice having you in my collection over the years, but the time has come for me to pass these on to somebody else that will appreciate them much more than I will. And that's all we got today. A quick little look at Titan Tron and me explaining why I don't care for them. So don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me some comments. Any Titan Tron memories for you? I'm sure there's some people out there that like them. Let's hear about it. Tell me why you like them and why you like these the best if there is anyone out there. Besides that, this has been Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.